Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. In this vlog, I'm going to talk about upplating or uprating the weight of your motorhome. This is quite an interesting topic and I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible and hopefully give you all the correct information. Now, when you buy a motorhome, that vehicle will have a maximum gross vehicle weight or maximum authorised mass. It could be anywhere up to three and a half tonnes or then upwards of that. Many motorhomes are three and a half tonnes. You can drive those on your category B driver's licence. Other motorhomes, such as the Matrix, come at a higher weight already. Ours was 3,650 kilos. Now, I'm just going to show you the weight plate on our motorhome so you know what I'm talking about. Now, your motorhome would have a weight plate. Ours is here under the bonnet. Now, we actually have the manufacturer's plate from Fiat, and then we have the Adria plate, and this is the weights that our motorhome can be. And you can see there, 3,650, that's 3,650 kilos. That is the maximum our motorhome can weigh. The other weight you need to know about is your mass in running order, M-I-R-O. Now that is basically the weight your motorhome will be when it leaves the factory, and they also include there generally an allowance for a driver, some water, uh, bits and pieces that you might have on your motorhome. Yours will be different, so always check. And when you subtract that M-I-R-O from your gross vehicle weight, it's going to give you your payload. Now, why might you want to upplate or uprate the weight of your motorhome? Well, simply because sometimes that payload just is not enough for your motorhome. And that's what happened to us. As well as having your gross vehicle weight, that plate is also going to tell you the limit your axles can weigh. You'll have a front axle and a rear axle. We've got two axles. You might have a tag axle if you've got a much bigger motorhome, and then you'll have um, four tyres at the back. So on ours, we've got our two axles and we've got our axle weights. When we got our motorhome, we went to a weigh bridge and we were quite shocked. As I say, our gross weight should be 3,650 kilos. We were already at three and a half tonnes, so 3,500, which only left us 150 kilos to play with. We'd got no water on board, no clothes, no food, no e-bikes, and we were really close on that back axle. There is a link down here to that video, so you can see what happened when we went to a Weybridge. We were a bit concerned, if I'm honest, so I got in touch with Cara Motorhomes and asked about up plating. It's a really, really simple paperwork exercise. It may involve some uh, additional air suspension and springs. I'll come to that because that's what we did. But basically, I'm clutching my paperwork. Cara Motorhomes contacted SV Tech. I'll put a link down here. SV Tech are a very reputable company that deal with the uprating of motorhome weights, and that's who we went with. So Cara Motorhomes contacted SV Tech. They gave them the chassis number and all the details of our motorhome, and what they sent back was basically this piece of paper. And on this bit of paper, it told Cara what we could take this motorhome to. If we didn't want to make any adaptions to it, we could have gone up to 3,700 kilos, which wouldn't have been a great uh, increment. It'd be 50 kilos. We could go up to 3,850 with some air suspension on the rear, or we could go up to 4,000 kilos, four tons, with rear semi air suspension and uprated spring coils on the front. That's what we decided to do. We didn't have to worry about tyres because we already had higher load capacity tyres. But if you're doing this exercise, it might tell you that you need to operate your tyres as well. So that could take it to a little bit more of an expensive procedure. So after getting the information from SV Tech, our motorhome went into Cara. There is a video of this fitting semi-air suspension to your motorhome. Again, I'll put a link. So what Cara did, they put semi-air suspension on our rear axle and they put uprated springs on our front. And that meant that we could go up to 4,000 kilos. So what Cara Motorhomes did once they'd done that work is they filled in the necessary paperwork and they informed the DVLA that the work had been done and submitted bits and pieces to them. We then got 
uh, a new V5 showing this at the correct weight. And also through SV Tech, we got a new weight plate because you're going to have to add this to your motorhome once you've basically done what you needed to do. So <clears throat> long story short, you can either do this yourself or you can go through your dealer like we did. SV Tech will tell you exactly what weight you can be at the limit and how you're going to get there, whether you have to add extras or not. The benefit of upplating is one, you can obviously increase your payload and take more uh, equipment with you, but you also can increase your axles. Now, as I mentioned, the our rear axle was our problem. Before, our rear axle was limited to 2,000 kilos. After our upgrade, it's now 2,240 kilos. So we can put an extra 240 over the rear axle because we've now got the semi-air suspension. That's made that difference to it. The front axle has also gone up a little bit because we've got the springs. Now that could be important. If you've got a motorhome like ours with a garage, you've, we've got our fresh water tank over the bed or under the bed, we've got our e-bikes there. So that addition is what we need, definitely. Let's talk about cost and then let's talk about what we're going to do with this, this uh, weight plate sticker. I'll bob those there. Cost, if, well, when we had it, this procedure done, SV Tech at that time charged £280 plus VAT for their services. What we did is through car remote homes, we had the semi-air suspension, the uprated springs and the upplating, upweighting. And in total, this work has cost us £2,000, including VAT. So if you want it all doing, that's the sort of price you're going to be looking at, depending on the dealership and where costs are now. Now, we've got our V5 document back. It now says 4,000 kilos on it. We were already a private heavy goods vehicle, so it hasn't affected our tax class. If you go from a three and a half ton motorhome to a heavier motorhome over three and a half tons, it'll actually ch change your taxation class. So you may end up paying less road tax as well. So that's something just to be aware of. Right, this is the sticker that I got. Now I need to affix this. What we do is, <clears throat> when you're ready, you peel off the back first of all, affix it, and then you remove the front. You get very clear instructions, so read your instructions. Now it does say to attach it next to your current weight plate, or if you haven't got one, inside the um, door pillar. And when I say if you haven't got one, I mean on the door, let me just clarify. We have not got a weight plate uh, on the B pillar. We have only got a weight plate here and there is no room in there to put this. Do not put this over your old weight plate. You should always leave that so people can see the weight it was. And if you were ever to downplate, you've got that older plate. So what I'm going to have to do is as per the instructions, I'm going to attach it here on the B pillar of the motorhome. And as I say, I've checked our motorhome and we don't have a weight plate on either of our inside doors. Don't attach it to your actual cab door because if for any reason you had to have a cab door replaced, you'd lose your sticker. So I've cleaned this with a cloth. I'm going to affix this now and then that'll be it. We'll be up plated and ready to go. So I'll just start putting this on now. So there we go, the plate is now fitted to our near side B pillar. I've got Jules to help. I'm no good at stuff like that, honestly. After anything that involves any artistic skill and you've lost me. So it is now fitted, it is affixed. Um, it, it should not be removed. 
That is basically how you up plate or uprate the weight of a motorhome. Other companies obviously are available. We literally though went through Cara Motorhomes. They con contacted SV Tech and we went all the way to our maximum, which was 4,000 kilos or four tons. And in terms of insurance, I did actually mention it to the insurance company, but um, it didn't actually change the class of the vehicle or anything like that. So as far as they were concerned, um, it didn't make any difference to the insurance. Your V5, as I say, it may make some difference to your tax class if it wasn't already over three and a half tons and you do need to make sure you have the um, correct category on your driver's license to drive over three and a half tons that's your c1 so you need c1 to go any higher than three and a half you can in future down plate or down rate the weight if needs be as well it's not a permanent thing it can be uh, reversed basically with the same procedure so there we go we now have gone from 3650 kilos kilos up to 4,000 and we've got our semi-air suspension and uprated springs. I'll put all the links down in the description below. If you've got any questions, please do ask them. If you've done this yourself and you want to make suggestions for other people, again, put them down there because we all learn from each other. So there we go. That is how you uprate or upplate a motorhome. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.